The U.S. Army Research Laboratory and its partners in academia and industry hope to solve the most difficult challenges in unmanned aviation. As officials unveiled the Center for Unmanned Aircraft Systems Propulsion, or CUP, April 2nd, 2018, at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. This is a real historic opportunity for VTD to showcase uh, one of the rich research areas uh, to ARL, uh, for all of you from ARL who are here, and also to key Army stakeholders. The partnership holds the potential to position the Army to be a leader in UAS propulsion. The center will enable the development of future technologies to support the Army's modernization priorities and the lab's essential research areas. Future vertical lift, ARL will clearly be supporting it in a number of ways, but really focusing on spinning out what knowledge and understanding we can in the near term to help the CFTs across functional teams get where they need to go in delivering capability for soldiers. Increasing the performance of unmanned aircraft will lead to improvements in fuel efficiency, noise reduction, increased range, and higher payloads. Unmanned aircraft such as the Gray Eagle, Shadow, and Hunter stand to benefit initially. But as the relationship matures, center officials hope to improve smaller UAS as well. Center founder, Dr. Mike Kwan, who also serves as the lab's propulsion division chief, said having all the collaborators under one umbrella will help develop specific technologies. I'm uh, very pleased to start the uh, Center for UAS Propulsion because this is a very important area. So any uh, vehicles, air or ground uh, cannot uh, move without the power. So the, we need to understand the importance of power. So we are so proud to uh, start to uh, innovate and develop the new propulsion uh, technologies for the unmanned uh, aircraft systems. From Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, David McNally, ARL-TV. Right.